Welcome to the Manchester Museum. We are here at the Manchester Museum and here we are here to show you how Manchester Museum keeps their items safe over time. Come on in and join us. The conservation team makes sure that 4.5 million objects are safe from the threats of humidity, light, temperature and pests. We need to find out where to put the Norwegian headdress. We need to put it away from humidity, light, temperature and pests. And we need to keep it somewhere and on the floor that it could be protected and well looked after for over a period of time. Which floor do you think we should put it on? Let's work that out. Small baskets have been destroyed by light because light, the, um, this basket had been put by the window. The blue one um, had its colours faded away by the light. I think that this object was destroyed by moisture because um, because it was metal. Now we are going to check the humidity, light and temperature on all of the floors in the Manchester Museum. We checked the humidity, light and temperature and the last time we checked it was in the summer. We're checking it now in the winter to see the difference over time. In our readings, the highest humidity was on the ground floor and the lowest was on the first floor. Humidity matters because the crown has a metal. If it's really, really wet in the air, the metal can go rusty and that, that could damage the headdress. We could, we could do um, maybe the first floor or the first floor because um, it has the uh, lowest light and it doesn't have that much light. If we have too much light, then it could maybe fade some of the um, crown's pots. Too many pests on the third floor because of the cafe and there's too many moths on the first floor. We can't put the Norwegian pound on the third floor because it had 20 biscuit beetles. We can't put it on the first floor because it had nine moths. So it is now between ground floor and second floor. We don't want it to be near pests because they, uh, as in a moth might eat the silk and the biscuit beetles might even eat the silk. So it's in between ground floor and the second floor. So we put sure we should put it on the second floor because it's not too bright and it's not too hot and it doesn't have that many pests and it's not too humid, not too much air, air water in the air. I agree because there's only one cricket on the second floor and the humidity is not that much and um, the light is okay and the temperature is good enough. Thank you for tuning in and learning about the importance of science in the museum. Goodbye! Bye.